Hello students hope you all are fine today we are going to start with a new chapter that is balanced diet in this chapter we are going to study about the characteristics of balanced diet its importance various food groups and their importance in our diet so we'll start with the introduction food plays an important role in our healthy well being a good healthy diet consists of all macronutrients that are proteins carbohydrate and fats and macronutrients that are vitamins minerals water and fiber all these are helpful in growth maintenance of our body and makes our immunity strong nutrients obtained from different foods are required in certain proportions by our body and this also varies from person to person according to his age gender occupation or working lifestyle physical stress and illness for example an adolescent nutrient requirement is more than school going child a carpenter who is working so hard requires more protein as compared to the office going person or a person who is having a sedentary lifestyle pregnant women and lactating women also have higher nutritional needs as compared to the adult women so it varies from person to person balanced diet a balanced diet is one which contains carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins minerals water and fiber in adequate amounts and correct proportion that are required for healthy growth and activity when we are having these nutrients according to our requirement then we are healthy and it's helpful in our growth development and activity now characteristics of balanced diet balanced diet helps in controlling body weight heart rate and blood pressure as we are eating right balanced diet helps in increasing one's exercise capacity and muscle performance it improves blood sugar level lowers harmful cholesterol and triglycerides and increases hdl cholesterol which is good for body it produces mental and physical relaxation balanced diet helps in building body immunity which helps us to resist against diseases so these are the characteristics of balanced diet now we'll do the functions and sources of balanced diet nutrients we'll start with carbohydrates carbohydrates are composed of glucose galactose fructose and other sugars main functions of carbohydrate it's provide food energy to the body glucose is stored as glycogen in our body carbohydrate spares protein for its primary purpose that is body building it helps in gastrointestinal function they serve as a source of energy for the helpful bacteria that synthesize vitamin b complex in the intestinal tract for the regulation of fat we need carbohydrate for proper heart functioning glycogen in the cardiac muscle is an important source of contractile energy in central nervous system it provides glucose to the brain and energy value of carbohydrate is 4 calories per gram now the food sources cereal products including wheat rice bread poha maida sugar jaggery jam syrup dried fruits potatoes bananas are the food sources of carbohydrate next one is proteins proteins are essential nutrients for the human body they are one of the building blocks of body tissue and can also serve as a fuel source they are composed of amino acids amino acids are of two types essential amino acids and non essential amino acids 
functions it helps to retain body structure and composition it maintain the fluid balance within the body it helps to build and repair tissue in the body whenever there is a injury or any wound doctor always advise to have good protein diet because it is helpful in building and repairing tissues it helps to form antibodies which helps to fight against diseases it is an important constituent of blood that is hemoglobin it is an essential component of enzymes hormones and helps in regulating body processes energy value of protein is 4 calories per gram now the food sources animal source of proteins are milk curd egg cheese meat poultry and fish vegetable protein sources are cereals legumes vegetables ground nuts oil seeds next one is fats fats are composed of glycerides fatty acids and lipids in small quantities now the functions to supply food energy in concentrated form fats help in the absorption of fat soluble vitamins that are a d e and k fat is stored in adipose tissue in our body and it helps in cushioning the internal organs like kidney and reproductive organs against any sudden injuries it serves as a padding in the cheeks palms of the hands and base of feet energy value of fats is 9 calories per gram which is higher as compared to carbohydrates and proteins sources we get fats from cooking fats and oils ghee butter cream and meat products next one is minerals calcium calcium helps in building bones and teeth it helps muscles and nerves act normally it helps in blood clotting process food sources of calcium we get calcium from milk and milk products small fish green leafy vegetable cereals etc next one is phosphorus phosphorus facilitates maximum usage of proteins in the body it helps in the formation of teeth and bones it helps in the maintenance of acid base balance of the blood it supply energy to the muscles for contraction in the form of enzymes they regulate carbohydrate metabolism sources of phosphorus we get phosphorus from milk and milk products carrots cauliflower banana liver cheese egg yolk meat and fish next one is iron iron is required for the formation of hemoglobin present in the blood it increases brain development food sources of iron liver kidney heart egg organ meats green leafy vegetables beetroot dried fruits whole grain cereals and legumes are the food sources of iron next one is dietary fiber it is a form of carbohydrate and it mainly consists of cellulose it is essential for normal functioning of intestine and bowel movement it prevents constipation hemorrhoids it also prevent diseases of digestive tract sources we get dietary fiber from cereals whole grains fresh fruits vegetables next one is vitamins vitamin a vitamin a is helpful in normal vision and it protect against night blindness it helps in growth and development it gives 
बॉडी रेजिस्टेंस अगेंस्ट डिजीजेस सोर्सेज ऑफ विटामिन ए एनिमल सोर्स आर लिवर किडनी होल मिल्क एग बटर वेजिटेबल सोर्सेज आर विटामिन ए इज प्रेजेंट इन फॉर्म ऑफ कैरिटनोइड्स ग्रीन लिफी वेजिटेबल्स लाइक स्पिनेच टर्निप बीट ग्रीन्स ग्रीन स्टेम वेजिटेबल्स लाइक एस्पेरेगस येलो वेजिटेबल्स लाइक पम्पकिन कैरेट येलो फ्रूट्स लाइक एप्रिकॉट पीटिस पपाया मैंगो ऑरेंज आर द सोर्सेज ऑफ विटामिन ए नेक्स्ट इज विटामिन सी विटामिन सी इज अ वाटर सोलेबल विटामिन इट हेल्प्स इन हेल्दी डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ बोन्स टीथ कार्टिलेज एंड कनेक्टिव टिश्यूज इट एड्स इन द हीलिंग ऑफ बोन्स it gives resistance to our body it helps in absorption of iron sources of vitamin c citrus fruits lemon amla oranges guava tomatoes pineapple grapes spinach turnip green chilies cabbage broccoli carrot cherries and sprouted pulses are the good sources of vitamin c Next one is vitamin D which is a fat soluble vitamin it helps in the metabolism and utilization of calcium and phosphorus in our body it helps to build strong bones and teeth it helps in growth it helps to release energy sources of vitamin D vitamin D is synthesized in our body in the presence of sunlight we get vitamin d from fish liver oil fish egg yolk butter ghee etc next one is vitamin b1 that is thiamine it is a water soluble vitamin it helps to maintain the appetite and keep nervous system healthy it helps to release energy for the use of our body food sources of vitamin b1 are whole grain cereals unpolished rice meat poultry fish liver dry beans peas soya beans milk next one is vitamin b2 which is also known as riboflavin it helps in releasing energy from the cell and it helps in cellular respiration it is essential for growth and maintenance of skin it helps in keeping clear vision food sources of vitamin b2 that is riboflavin milk and milk products meat liver heart kidney green vegetable and eggs next one is niacin that is also water soluble vitamin it helps in releasing energy it helps in growth it improves cholesterol level and lower down the cardiovascular risk animal sources are liver meat fish and poultry plant sources are peanuts beans peas and other legumes last one is water water acts as a solvent for several products it helps in digestion it regulates body temperature helps in regulating ph level sources are water tea coffee juices butter ghee lassi coconut water fruits we should consume 7 to 8 glasses of water every day so students today we have covered balanced diet its characteristics and the macronutrients and micronutrients along with their functions and sources in the next class we will be continuing with this chapter thank you